May 1st, May's a couple other things actually. It is uh, Motorcycle Awareness Month, May is. So, all about trying to educate motorists to be on the lookout for motorcycles. That is also ALS Awareness Month. This is something that's kind of kind of close to me. Um, ALS is amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. And what that means is it's a disease, genetic disorder, where both uh, upper and lower motor neurons uh, involving the brain stem and the spinal cord, basically sclerose, which sclerosis is hardening of a tissue. And when that happens, they basically these there's this protein buildup in the motor neurons that causes the neurons to harden up and be slowly degenerate and become inactive. Um, basically, uh, neurons send signals, it's through chemical receptors. Neuroreceptors or catecholamines are released when your brain says, okay, I wanna, I wanna twist the throttle here. Instantaneously almost, your, your conscious brain and a lot of times your subconscious brain, with a lot of things, uh, fight or flight response, sympathetic nervous system, kicks in and says, move this through muscle memory. And a neuroreceptor, neuroreceptors are released, or neurotransmitters, excuse me, not receptors, neurotransmitters are released from one neuron to another. Now you know when your bladder's full and you gotta take a piss. Now you're like, gotta take a wee wee. <laughs> and so these neuroreceptors or transmitters are released to the neuroreceptor and uh, And it's like there's like your neuroreceptors here, transmitters are released, they dock, almost kind of like a master slave cylinder situation uh, on, a, on, a, on a machine. Um, but chemical and organic and extremely instantaneous. So anyways, what happens is those, those neurons that are responsible for receiving those the signal as well as sending the signal well those neurons build up with basically become hard with proteins proteins that are normally proteins that are normal a natural occurrence, but your body loses the ability to process that protein appropriately, and its after product causes causes these these neurons to to become stiff and inactive. And so, what this leads to is this leads to ALS, or um, also commonly known as Lou Gehrig's disease, or also called uh, motor neuron, uh, like dis disease, motor neuron disease, yeah. Um, Lou Gehrig's disease here in the US for the um, Lou Gehrig, famous baseball player. This means that basically you lose the ability to control your, the movement of your body slowly over time. S some, uh, some people it progresses fairly rapidly and then some people it progresses really slowly. Um, but your, your mind, your conscious mind is fully intact. There's no dementia, there's no Alzheimer's. Uh, you know, I mean there can be, but it's not associated with the, with the disease. 
uh, you slowly uh, wither away and are fully conscious of it. Um, which is, I think, in, you know, movement. I mean, to those of us, I mean, if you are watching me right now, you're, you probably ride a motorcycle, or if you don't ride a motorcycle and you are a dirt bike or a bike of any kind, you probably, um, you probably have some hobby that you're into, is, which is why you're watching, you know, something that's related to action sports. Not close to me because, and my good friends Megan, Megan and Beth, well, Megan and Beth are basically like uh, sisters to me. And sisters I never had, I'm an only child. And Ben and, and his brother Joe are basically like brothers to me. And I mean, I love those guys. I love, I love, love them and love Megan and Beth. I love their whole family. It's, it's basically, I, you know, it may not be blood, but it's about as, about as close as you can get. And growing up, they had their grandpa Arnold. And uh, I remember hanging out at the farm. He was a dairy farmer. And, you know, grandpas are, grandpas are awesome. You know, they'll tell you good stories, slip you a little, little beer, a little whiskey, give a little chuckle, kind of get some wisdom and kind of, you know, so, yeah, Grandpa's, uh, Grandpa Arnold was, uh, was a pretty amazing guy, got up at, I think, like, three o'clock every morning to start his day of running this dairy farm, and, um, until he couldn't do it anymore, he was out there until the sun went down. Before sun came up and after sun went down. And he got diagnosed with ALS. I'll put some pictures of him in this video and in the details section. I wanna, I wanna share a link with you guys, a couple links. One that is, we call it Arnold's Armada, which is uh, uh, Megan, she works for the ALS Foundation. It was, her grandpa was, you know, so touching to everybody in the family and, and it, it really inspired her to actually, really inspired her to actually make a career out of helping people with ALS. And so she is, uh, she runs the Oregon and Southwest Washington chapter. Well, she does it, she's the fundraising manager, I believe. The whole family gets involved in doing these. Uh, they have a walk to defeat ALS. They have a ski to defeat ALS. They have a, a ride to defeat ALS. It's not motorcycles, it's uh, bicycles. Should get some kind of motorcycle thing going on. And I wanted to make a vlog to and dedicate it to Grandpa Arnold. So he's not my grandpa, but he was like a, he reminded me of a lot of my grandpa. And what, I'm not asking you to necessarily donate money. I don't, if you want, if you want to donate money, that would be, that is awesome. Um, I donate money every year um, to Arnold's Armada for during the walk season. Um, and when I can, I try to, if I have the day off, I try to uh, get out there and participate in the walk. And that's, the, there's, you don't have, there's not just, money's not the only way to help. There's also, It's just raising awareness, and there's 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 the ALS Foundation is all over the U.S. You can get involved. You can get involved in probably I would imagine any air wherever you're at. There should be a local chapter that you can get involved with, and whether it be volunteering to help with a 
help with a walk event or a ride event or um, or donating just a little bit of money or just sharing this video and getting the word out there that to let people know that this disease exists it's not cured yet but but everybody that's involved is working towards finding a cure and trying to trying to get rid of this this horrible disease that just robs people of robs people of their of, of their ability to move you can't just you don't get this disease by drinking too much by smoking by eating the wrong foods you you it's genetic there's nothing you can nothing you can do to prevent it that we know of yet which is 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 why it's so scary and kind of tearing up a little bit right now just talking about it so but uh anyways i uh, if anything to take away from this video just you know um like i said if you can if you can donate or get involved or help out if you find this inspiring um or if maybe just there's some some other some other uh disease or something that you know that you or your family's battling with you know to get inspired and motivated and and to share it and uh, and get out there and, and do something about it and um and help inspire others and bring other people together to uh, i mean that's what that's what being human's all about and and that's that's it guys i'm not going to ramble on about this but lou gehrig's these als horrible disease um like I said, I'll put some links in the in the details below, and um, some pictures of Grandpa Arnold on here, um, so you can kind of get a put a put a face with with the story. And um, if I've messed up any facts, um, I sincerely apologize. I uh, my best intentions to try to to try to do what I can to raise awareness um, for ALS uh, for the month of May, 2013. Okay. Thanks guys, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, hold your loved ones close, and try to be positive, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.